the most vivid night in my memory was a night of disaster. It was in July of 1960. We had a sellout crowd. Ray Charles had made his debut at the Newport Jazz Festival that year. He's played many times since. And the crowd was orderly together, but they were excited about the music. But outside in the streets, there were thousands and thousands of young people that had come to Newport because it was like an open city. The bars were kept open till four o'clock in the morning, and there was a problem. And they had a little uh, confrontation with the police outside. The police came to me that night and said, please keep the concert going until we tell you to stop. We have a problem in the streets. We don't want you to let the people out until we clear up that problem. So here we were with, it was, it was like, it was surrealistic. All this violence in the air, but nothing in the park. And when we were allowed out of the park, there were fire hoses and police and police directing. It had been a riot in the city, but not at the jazz festival. And the next day, headlines all over the country, riot at the Newport Jazz Festival. It took me years to come back and get a feeling of acceptance for jazz and jazz festivals. We did it, it was a lot of hard work, and now, believe it or not, cities and communities all over the world want jazz festivals, and we do quite a few of them ourselves.